Microsoft Office 365. This video is part two of our Microsoft tutorial series. This video is going to cover how to access Microsoft applications online, as well as how to download Office 365 to your desktop or laptop. Presented by the Reedley College Reading and Writing Center. Hello. My name is Laura, and this video is going to show you how to access Microsoft applications for free using your student account. As a student, you have free access to Microsoft Office 365. All students should be familiar with accessing and using Microsoft applications, especially Microsoft Word, because instructors often prefer assignments to be completed using these applications. Google applications, such as Docs, may not be accepted by your instructor. You have the option to either use the Microsoft applications online or to download them to your computer. I will show you how to use the online version as well as how to download and use the desktop version. In addition, I will show you how to download the apps to phones and tablets using either the Google Play Store or the Microsoft Office Store. Let's get started. I'm going to begin by opening Chrome. Chrome is the preferred web browser for using Microsoft applications because you will have fewer technical difficulties than you would when using another web browser such as Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer. From here, I'm going to navigate to the Reedley College website. I recommend bookmarking this site for easier access in the future. Once the Reedley College website is open, you're going to click on the My Portal link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. You will be prompted to sign in using your student ID and password to access the Portal dashboard. Once you've signed in, you will have access to WebAdvisor, your student email, and Canvas. You will also see helpful notifications and links provided to you by the school. To access the free online Microsoft Office suite, we're going to open the student email. Once Outlook is open, you're going to click on the nine dots in the upper left-hand corner of the screen next to where it says Outlook. This will open your apps tray, where you will see all of the online applications that Microsoft has to offer. You can access all of the online applications at any time from within your Outlook email, or you can bookmark individual applications on your bookmarks bar for future access. For those of you using Chromebook or tablets that do not have the storage space for the full downloaded Microsoft Office suite, using the apps through your Outlook account is going to be your best option. You can access these apps from any device as long as you are signed in to your student Outlook account. All of the Microsoft Office applications automatically sync and back up to your Microsoft Cloud account, so you will be able to access your documents and files from any device as long as you are signed in. If you want to download the complete version of the Microsoft Office 365, simply click on the Office 365 link in the upper right-hand corner of the app's dialog box. This will take you to the Office 365 dashboard where you will have access to all of the online applications as well as the ability to download the complete version. To begin the installation of the full desktop version of Office 365, click on the Install Office button in the upper right-hand corner of the Office 365 dashboard. The download will begin and you will be prompted using the install wizard to complete the installation. Your account gives you the availability to install Microsoft Office on up to five devices at a time. To use the apps individually, I recommend using the apps tray in your Outlook dashboard. As I mentioned earlier, you can bookmark individual applications on your bookmarks bar for easier access. If you want to set up a bookmark, you will be prompted to sign in each time you open the application. Let's look at the online Microsoft Word application dashboard. From this dashboard, you can create a new document 
or use any of the templates within Word by clicking on any of the options at the top of the window under New. Under Recommended, you will see all of your recently opened and saved documents as well as any documents that have been shared to you. You could organize this dashboard in each of the applications by creating custom folders and save points for all of your projects and documents. The same is true for all of the other Microsoft Office applications. There are some limitations when using the online application versus the downloaded version, so it is recommended that you download Office 365 if you are able to. Using the downloaded application is simple. Just click on the application icon on your desktop or in your startup menu to open the program. For detailed instructions on how to navigate and use Word, see part three of our Microsoft tutorial series located on the Reading and Writing Center's Canvas site. Be advised that by default, your documents and files will save to a location on your computer rather than to your Microsoft Cloud. For a detailed tutorial on how to link your OneDrive Cloud account directly to your computer's storage network, see part four of our Microsoft tutorial series located on the Reading and Writing Center's Canvas site. Now let's look at how to download individual applications to mobile devices such as phones and tablets using either the Google Play Store or the Microsoft Store. I'm going to show you how to do this using the Google Play Store. Open a new tab in your web browser and sign in to your Google account. From here, we want to open the Play Store. Simply search for Microsoft, and you will see the apps appear. As you can see, you have access to download any of the Microsoft Office applications through the Google Play Store. You can download applications one at a time, or you can download the entire Office suite to your device. When you click on one of the applications, you will be prompted to install the application. From there, follow the directions in the installation wizard, and when you are asked to, sign in using your student email and account. Once you are signed in, all of your files and saved documents will appear in the application dashboard. This goes for any application downloaded to a Chromebook, a tablet, or a mobile device. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or need additional support, contact a tutor through the Reading and Writing Center.